hello everyone in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create a two different database connection a mongodb database connection in one single spring boot application for that time i have created a, a small spring boot application so um, he is it's uh, from xml i use a uh, spring boot starter spring boot starter data mongodb uh, uh, data rest uh, spring boot starter web uh, start test uh, we are not going to write unit case here then uh, spring plugin core uh, and i have included uh, lombok uh, dependencies so those are the dependencies for this simple uh, pet project and here i have added uh, some properties there uh, <coughs> the first one is uh, server port what is the port that we are running uh, in spring boot and those are the uh, database uris um, uh, new db1 is the first uh, database uh, new, B, uh, new db2 is the second database here i am going to uh, disable or the exclude this mongo to configuration okay let's start the implementation uh, for that one i'm going to create a package inside this already created package uh, i'm going to create a new package uh, called configurations configurations under this configuration package i'm going to create uh, three java files uh, first of all i'm going to create a java class called uh, multiple mongo config you can use any name uh, but i'm going to use uh, as this one multiple mongo config uh, in this multiple mongo conf i'm going to create this class as a configuration one I'm going to use the configuration annotation there. Uh, then in this uh, configuration uh, class, I'm going to create a few beans there. The first one is this one. Uh, I'm going to copy paste for the time being. Uh, I'm going to use primary annotation. I'm going to use bean annotation there. So I'm going to add the Mongo properties, right? Uh, the bean name is new DB one properties, uh, and the prefix uh, the, the prefix mean this one, right? Uh, Spring data Mongo DB new DB one is the prefix there uh, for the uh, first database, uh, and uh, I'm going to create another bean for the second one right uh, this for the second database uh, and i have to create another few beans there so i have to create another bean like this way i have to include the mongo template there uh, i i'm going to create uh, i'm going to name this one as a new db1 mongo template you can use any name that you want uh, for your uh, scenario so don't worry i am going to create this uh, method uh, later and I have to create another B in there, right? Like this way. Right. Uh, so now I have to create those two methods. Before that, I have to change this uh, like this way. Uh, here is the name. Right. And this one is here. Right. Now I'm going to create a. Uh, these two methods right i'm going to copy this method these two methods here right yeah uh, i'm i have to include this mongo database factory and this simple mongo client database factory classes right uh, we have done implementing this uh, multiple mongo config uh, java file right in this dummy project i don't create any uh, controller or service layer just for demonstration purpose i am going to create a repository classes and i'm going to show you this is how working and how the data are going to uh, two different databases i'm not going to create any controllers or service class there so for that one i'm going to create a package called uh, repository repository uh, 
and here uh, another pack, uh, one package for uh, model one report let's uh, name is uh, let's name it as uh, model model repo one uh, and I have to create another package for model repo two. okay now in this uh, repository package there are uh, another two package model repo one and model repo two uh, in this uh, model repo uh, one package I'm going to create uh, <coughs> model class uh, name model one and I'm going to create uh, another uh, I'm going to create another interface there uh, model one repository right okay I'm going to implement this model class uh, just a po uh, poja class uh, for that one I'm going to uh, use uh, data annotation from Lombok and all arc constructor and no arcs constructor also and I'm going to uh, use uh, document annotation and uh, suppose we have collection uh, collection we have collection uh, called uh, mm, model 1 <coughs> in the mongo database uh, mongodb database right um, for as properties uh, i think uh, i'm going to use id annotation uh, suppose uh, we have uh, string call uh, called id and uh, we have only uh, name private string so should be simple right uh, and I'm going to so uh, that's it for model uh, model one class so now we are going to implement this uh, this model one repository interface it is also very simple uh, uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to extend uh, Mongo repository there. Mongo repository. Uh, and we have to give the um, give the model uh, as model one. I'm going to use model oh, sorry, model one. Uh, and the data type of the key. It's a string. okay uh, now we have imp implement this model one repo package uh, so we have to do also similar thing in model two repo also so in model two also we have to copy those things yeah we have to copy those things uh, and uh, suppose uh, this one also has these properties model two right okay uh, now we have to implement this uh, mongo model one model two repository model two repository okay here we go mm, now it's also interface not a class interface uh, and it is also extends from uh, mongo sorry mongo uh, mongo repository and here model model two and the right we have implemented this uh, packages those packages model one rep model repo one and model repo two okay now we are again we are going to this configuration packages uh, package uh, and we are going to create two classes there new db1 
config and another class db2 config right I'm going to close those unnecessary files there <clears throat> right so in this uh, new uh, database configuration new database one configuration file i have to implement those things uh, i have to use uh, configuration and implementation there because this is a configuration file and uh, i have to uh, use enable <coughs> enable mongo repository annotation there uh, so in there we are going to uh, include uh, those packages uh, those related packages for this uh, database one for that one i'm going to use uh, base package and uh, the package is here we can copy from there and uh, we can use it like uh, this way right uh, if there is uh, more than one package we can use comma and add any number any number of packages there like this way okay uh, and another thing i have to include uh, this is the mongo template ref this uh, um, uh, i'm going to create a field protected field yeah protected static final string This Mongo template uh, should be this one, right? This one, yeah. So, dot template. Yeah, uh, that's for the new database one configuration. Uh, for new database two configuration also we have to use app configuration and at enable mongo repositories uh, so base packages uh, i'm going to use a base package base packages uh, yeah we can get We can include there and we have another property uh, property to set mongo template ref uh, it's also in there and this is uh, this gonna be this one right this one Okay, now our implementations uh, implementation part is done. Uh, now we have to check whether those are working or not. Uh, I'm not going to uh, create controller uh, for that. I'm I'm just going to use command line uh, runner for that. Uh, so we are going to go here this uh, multi mongo project application main uh, main class. In there, uh, I'm going to. Uh, Auto wire. I'm going to auto wire those uh, repositories. Uh, model model one repository, and I'm going to auto wire model model two repository. 
uh, I'm going to implement from this uh, command line runner class implements command line runner okay then uh, there is so to add things uh, so we have to implement methods uh, yeah okay use sl4j login SL I'm going to print uh, some logs for identification purpose uh, so those are like this way now I'm going to create um, simple objects for uh, saving this uh, for that one this dot modern repository dot save <coughs> new model one for the id i'm not going to send any thing uh, it will auto generated by mongo db so his name um, model one Shit. right uh, and I'm going to create another object this document to repository dot save new model two for the ID I'm going to pass null then to object right Uh, now our objects should be saved in the database uh, now we are going to get them and print into the uh, console so for that one for the printing purpose i'm going to use these two methods uh, yeah yeah right uh, now i'm going to add another log uh, therefore okay now we have to do is run this uh, project okay let's run our project and see if it's working or not yeah uh, it's connected and uh, created those objects and here is those objects command line right here you can see those uh, newly created databases and the data uh, in new database 2 here so uh, has model 1 and here is the object